Hello guys and welcome to another video from Time of Business. Today we'll be discussing how one Etsy store made over 7,000 sales in just one day. Now if you're new to the channel, Time of Business is the perfect place to learn how to grow your online business. Whether it is Etsy, Shopify, YouTube or blogging, this is the perfect place to be. Now, if that is something you are interested in, make sure to subscribe, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below. Without any further ado, let's jump onto our computer and have a look at this amazing Etsy store. So here we are guys, we just jumped on our computer. Here you can see on the right side, most sales on Etsy for yesterday. And at the top we have Eckernard Crow Studio with over 7,000 sales. Now once again we are using the website eRank. This is a website that we usually use for this type of videos because we want to show you the top stores when it comes to sales in one day or all time. So here we have the top five stores when it comes to the most number of sales for yesterday. And the store that we will be talking about has 7,241 sales. So you can simply click on Eckernard Crow Studio, open a new tab, and here we can see some useful information about this store. So we can see that they have a total of 195,000 sales with an average of 285 per day. And we can see that the shop age is not that big, so they have been on Etsy for around two years. When it comes to their uh, ranking, so the global ranking on Etsy, they rank 40. And when it comes to their national, so they are based in the USA, they rank 22. Now let's go and have a look at the actual Etsy store. You can also click here and they will redirect you to their Etsy store. So remember guys, you have to pay attention at all the details, so at everything that a shop owner does or a team does with their Etsy store in order to rank on Etsy, in order to convert their buyers and in order to be successful. So right from the top we can see a very big banner with their store name you can see that they encourage their customers or their potential customers to read the shop announcement and also they mention that they are open from Monday to Thursday between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. If we go under the banner you can see that they have some important information about what they actually sell in their store so you can see that they have stickers, keychains and pins. This is very useful because this small information will be picked up by Google and you can actually win some keywords or some long tail keywords, some key phrases and direct a lot of traffic because you are already on Etsy. If we move even further, we can see that they have a small number of total products, so they only have 278 products. We can see right from the beginning that they have four featured items. So those are four stickers that most likely are best sellers for them. All of them are in the gothic style. You can see that we have already skulls, we have flowers, we have black and white. So this is a very common theme when it comes to the gothic niche. So right off the bat, we can see what this store is about. If we go further, we can see that they sell other items such as bookmarks, magnets, and so on. If you go here on the left, you will be able to see the main categories that they focus on and also the number of products that they have in each of these collections. When you click on the stickers, you already can go to their page, so to their collection of stickers and have a look at what most likely sells best to them. And you can use most recent when it comes to a collection or to their main store also not custom but most recent because those items are usually the items that just sold so those items were just renewed and since they have 7000 sales in just one day 
all of those top renewed products are usually the ones that just sold. We can have a look right now and see that they have 571 sales so that when we refresh we will have a look at how many sales they made in a few minutes and also to see if those most recent items change. Before we move along, if you find value from this video, please make sure to subscribe, like this video and also check out our website timeofbusiness.com as we have a ton of useful information and resources for Etsy sellers just like you. Now a few minutes have passed, let's try to refresh and see if they have a few new sales and their most recent items. So we can see that they already made around 40 new sales and you can see that all of the most recent items or most of them have changed. So that means that those items have just sold for this particular seller. So this is a way to look at stores. You simply change the custom to most recent and that is where you will be able to see the products that were just renewed. Now, on small stores, those products can be actually renewed by the seller because they want to give them a boost. But if you look at Etsy stores that have over 100 sales per day, they will most likely be the products that were just sold. Now, let's move at the bottom of the page and have a look at their feedbacks and other useful information. So, you can see here at the reviews, you can also have a look here and see what actually sell for this seller or for sellers in general. How satisfied are the customers? Maybe you can see a pattern. Maybe on some simple products you can find a very good feedback rate. So maybe on a certain sticker or maybe on the product type of stickers, people usually go with five stars, let's say, or four stars. You can actually analyze those products and see what usually sells, how people react to that product and so on. Also, once again, you can see that certain buyers have left several feedbacks. That means that a certain buyer has purchased more items from this seller and has left several feedbacks. So that is another important thing that you can take from this store is that with cheap items, sometimes people go and purchase more products from your store because let's say that they only want to pay shipping once. So we can already see one notebook, one notepad, another identical notepad, then we have stickers, stickers. So we can see that Maggie already purchased five items or more but has left five feedbacks for this particular seller. So that is how you can actually make product research from somebody else's store. So you can get all that useful information about what sells, what sells in good quantity, what sells together, what usually does not receive a good feedback and so on. Now, if we go even further, we can see the stats that we also had on E-Rank. So they have been on Etsy since 2020. And here we have another interesting thing. We can see their social media accounts. So we can see that they have their Pinterest and their Instagram linked. If we go to their Pinterest, we can see that they only have 52 followers. So they do not use Pinterest like many other sellers, maybe like yourself, to get traffic. If we go to their Instagram, we can see that they have 12,000 followers on Instagram. And a very interesting thing is that they also tell you about TikTok. We can see that they have quite a few likes on each photo, but when we go to their TikTok account, we can see that they have 430,000 followers with 7.2 million likes. And you can see how many views they have on those videos. So most likely this is a very cool and very good source of income and traffic for this particular store. You can see that they use uh, an order to show other potential customers that people enjoy an order for their classroom, for their friends, 
and you can see the feedback so they encourage the people on TikTok to go to their Etsy store and to actually make purchases. So that is another big secret that you can take from this particular store. You can see that they show a lot of orders and how they pack orders and how they ship their mail in order to attract even more followers and to grow their audience. You can see so many little details that led to this store to be in the top 100 and to be the store that actually made over 7,000 sales on Etsy. So if you go on one of their products, you can see that the smallest one is priced at 5 euros and you can also see others at 37, at 7. If you were to go with an average of 7 or 10 euros per order, you can actually get an idea about the fact that they make around 50 to 70 thousand euros or dollars per day. So that was the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found something useful from this video and you can now go to your own Etsy store and apply those changes. So you do not have to copy this exact store, but you can apply the things that work for this Etsy seller to your own store and find success on Etsy. Once again, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our website, and until next time, guys, do not forget, there was never a better time. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all I really